Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome to day 24. So I have been getting some stuff printed out here. Sorry, I had some of this stashed over here to the side. Um, yeah, getting stuff printed out. I'm starting the beginning of my vacation layouts. So I'm trying to be cautious with which products I'm using and how many photos. Um, I want to still incorporate Christmas. I want to incorporate a little bit of travel. Um, so what I have planned is I have a almost a full size photo. It's going to be going on the back of this shortened layout here. So I'm going to trim that down. So that will be on the left hand side. And then I have a six three by four page protector planned out. So I've got a few three by four photos here. So the top half will go on the front and then the bottom half will go on the back. And then I have an assortment of things. I've got, I'm considering playing with these um, three inch circles here. And I have a two and a quarter inch photo that I would um, punch out with a two inch punch to put on there. Um, if not, then my 24 would go on there. I'm considering the globe. Um, yeah, I got a lot going on. So I have a photo, or sorry, a story card here from the main kit with my journaling cropped and ready to get applied on there from my sticker paper. Um, I did consider using one of where did I put it? One of these tags, but the blue one. I've got a whole mess going on here. So I've got this to go on the back. I considered playing with these because the photo that this is going to be sandwiched in between is this one here. Um, I had a really hard time lightening this. It was a weird color. Um, and that was the best color photo I could get without turning it black and white. I'm trying to find my blue tag here. Um, just stuff that I was considering working with. I had this tag here because of these nice, light, bright colors that kind of match my photo. Here it is. So some papers I'm considering. Um, considering cutting this out and putting it on my big photo. We'll see. Um, this could be a journaling card on the back or like a pattern paper card. Um, was considering this if I needed it as a coordinating piece. So for now I just have all that stuff set to the side. Um, for the back, I have this from the Paisley Press Kit which says Holiday Adventure, which I thought would go really nicely with this green tree and with this um, Christmas Eve journaling card that's from Ellie's studio. Um, I also pulled these out. I'm not gonna have the room or the time for them because I'm not doing the four by six with the four by four pockets. But that would have looked really cute. And I don't wanna try to, the way it's centered and we were cropped, I don't wanna try to force it on there. If anything, it would go like right here. So, not sure I'm going to get to use those yet. So I've just kind of got a lot of stuff pulled out. Um, I really wanted to use one of these. Like I'm trying to play off all these nice blue, blue colors. I will admit this is not my photo. Um, I took a similar photo that was blurry because we were too far away. So I found this one online. But I really wanted a nice blown up photo of my memory of us looking from New Jersey across the bay to New York as we were getting ready to take off on our cruise. And then this was another journal card from the main kit that I also considered just to help pull in all these colors. And these photos here are like creams and blues. So let me go ahead and cut these out. I'll crop them properly, but for now I just want to see what they're going to look like and start placing things. I don't really have a plan yet. I'm kind of winging it as you can see by like the straight chaos that I have going on here. Um, so 
So yeah, I'm still undecided if I want to put the 24 on here. I've got some open spaces. Um, I don't want it just floating around by itself though. So like it needs to go with something or on something. So this is why I'm kind of playing with all these different parts. Um, the other thing that I considered that I should mention is I was trying to figure out a way to use this and it's 12 spaces but what I thought I could do is something similar to Allie with a Posca paint pen which I've got one right here. Um, I thought I could break down our like really basic itinerary with some stamped dates in stays on like you know 1224 embarkation you know and then use the other spots as just a place to put embellishments so something in the back of my mind not 100 percent sure if i'm going to do that but i think it could be really fun because i don't really have any other ideas for it and i'm trying to use up all the vellum from the kits or the add-ons i should say the only other piece i have left besides that one is this one so let me put this on so that I can visualize and see what it's going to look like. Normally I don't trim it down so much, but I just have to center it left to right here. Pretty good right there. And that's just talking about like our the basics of our first day, you know, that we drove to New Jersey, because I live near west of Philadelphia. Um, drove to the cruise port, we you know had lunch, we wandered around the ship for a while checked out our room you know and I didn't want to include like a million photos of all that stuff but I have like a picture of the ship as we were about to board it because if you've ever been on a cruise ship when you're boarding you can't see the whole thing it's too big you have to be at like a, a port somewhere to really properly see it um, on deck and then in the bathroom <laughs> taking a little selfie so, just wanted to include a few examples when I actually do like a travel album for this trip, I would include like our key cards and way more stuff. So as soon as I get a visual here, I'm gonna pop it on fast forward and then You'll see like all the decision making as I go and that just helps give us an idea of what it's going to look like. So I'm still liking this blue tag on here. It's just a nice pop of color. something like that and then the other thing I need to do it to visually see this is to punch that so I have a pretty good collection of EK success punches um, I have them all linked in my Amazon information on the video if you want to check that out there's so many different sizes and I use them all all the time so this was a tight photo to try to crop, but it was a us in front of the Christmas tree in the cruise terminal. That was weird. I 
I just wanted to test it, make sure it was punching, and it is, so I'm not sure why it's not punching through my single piece of photo here. Weird. It's just catching strangely, I guess. Okay, that gives me an idea of what everything could potentially look like. And then I could go ahead and just put the number on there like I had intended. Okay guys, so right now I'm just playing around with deciding what photos and story cards are going to go where. I'm just kind of looking for balance and trying to figure out um, how I want it to flow. And I'm going to end up changing it around a few times, but I'm going to jump now into considering another embellishment. This is a 3 inch square die cut from this year's um, travel collection. I think it's this year. No, I'm, oh, I think it might be 2020. Anyway, so I used my vellum tran um, translucent template that I created the other day that's two and three quarter inches and I trimmed it out um, but I don't end up using it and I was kind of bummed. I might use it later on on another travel page because it's really cute. Um, I just didn't love it kind of floating around there in the middle of nowhere by itself and uh, I didn't want to replace that grayish um, beige die cut with the stars. That was a clear transparency from the add-ons this year. So I'm adding some Gina K film squares to my photo just to pop it up, give it a little dimension so it's not too flat. And I'm still considering here which journal card I'm gonna use for the number 24 and I thought maybe I could layer it with that circle die cut that I created. And I also briefly considered letting that holiday adventure card from Paisley Press show through on both sides. My intention was to use it for the green part of the layout um, but I thought, hey, maybe, you know, it would look cool um, taking advantage of the fact that her cards are double-sided and the black and white would look good with this side of the page. But I'm going to end up covering it up. Uh, I was still debating on if I was using that blue Happy Holidays tag or not. I didn't feel like, I, want, I wanted to feel like I was wasting product just to put it on there. So since I was indecisive, I decided to jump to the back of the layout. And I'm going through my December Daily die cut stash there that I have and going through all my three inch circles. So that one that I'm considering there says holiday memories. That was a mystery pack that I got this year, but I believe it was re released a couple years ago because I didn't recognize the designs. Um, and I have a few plastic pieces there as well. Then I'm considering going through, I think that one says filled with joy. That's from that same mystery pack I just got. Um, so just kind of rotating through. I ended up not using any of the green plastic ones because they were like the wrong color green. And I even looked at the square woods in my stash just in case I wanted to, you know, cut them into a circle shape, looked at some hexagons, etc. So just kind of playing around, seeing what I liked. Um, and then I finally am going to remember that I have from the nested chipboard set the holly chipboard that says Merry and Bright and the gold circle that's around it. So. Um, while I'm still considering using that one there with the wreath, um, looking at some other smaller die cuts that I have stashed into that same jar there. Um, and I'm going to use that, that green one there that says this moment, I think, and take advantage of, there's an ornament that I know it's hard to see because of the glare, which I apologize, but there's an ornament on the tree that I leaned in close and took like a selfie with my cell phone. So I thought that I'd take advantage of that circle being there and play with that and then I'm going to use some die cuts and stickers on the right hand side of the layout to kind of mimic another layout that I had done earlier in the month and I'm going to use another one of these gold foil stickers. I'm really loving using those this year. So I started to pull up the Merry and Bright and then I thought I'd do the Joy and Cheer instead. I'm just kind of celebrating the beginning of our vacation. And then those two other die cuts that say Sparkle and Holiday Magic are from last year's die cut add-ons from 2020. So I've made my decision and I'm adding some pop dots to 
that die cut as well. And since it's like a flat kind of flimsy sticker, I'm like really overloading it with foam squares just so that it stays supported and doesn't like collapse or get stuck to the photo in any way if there's any pressure on it. And I'm also going to use some foam squares on that little tiny, I think it's a one inch or maybe one and a quarter inch gold foil die cut there as well. And I just happened to see some Heidi Swap paper that matched it perfectly, but I'm not going to end up using that. So here's where I'm going to finally find that chipboard piece. And I was kind of just going through my stash looking for round stickers when I saw that in the pile there and realized that that would be the perfect opportunity to use it. I've been trying to use it like <laughs> on every layout because um, it's really beautiful and I <laughs> didn't, didn't want to not use it. So then I found a little green tree rounds sticker from the 2020 collection as well. And I'm going to lay that underneath that this moment die cut. So next I'm just getting the holes punched in my photo using my page template there and I'm getting these stickers attached down permanently because I've decided, you know, I'm not going to, I'm happy with what I've selected. I'm not going to go looking for anything else. So I'm just using my Gina K um, sticky tape to attach the two flatter die cuts down and then you saw that I peeled the foam square backing off. And then I'm ready to move back to page one because the decisions have been made on the second half of the layout. So you can see there, I considered going with the gray tag. While I don't hate it, um, it kind of doesn't really match the star die cut that well, but that's what I was hoping. And I was hoping it would let the photos really stand out, which it does do. Um, but I'm gonna end up sticking with that blue tag there, even though I considered a few options, like some of this pattern paper that was either from the main kit or the add-ons. I'm not sure anymore. They're all mixed up. Um, but now that I've finally made some decisions, I'm going to adhere that chipboard piece down. I'm going to use um, red line tape to attach it to the outside of the page protector because it's going to be thick with the photo, the pop-up dots, and the chipboard. So that'll be on the outside. And then because this is going to be glued down, that's going to give me the opportunity to add some adhesive behind the transparency circle as well. So I put that behind the photo so it's blocked, but that'll keep it from turning or moving around at all. So just getting everything adhered down. Sorry, I will jump back to the front again. <laughs> Unfortunately, with bigger layouts or multi-page layouts like this, you kind of just bounce around a lot until you figure it out. So I'm going to get the photo trimmed out. This is an odd size. It's like eight and a quarter by like nine something because the previous page was kind of a trimmed down put together piece. So I'm using my one eighth Gina K tape on the inside of the holes there. It fits perfectly. And then I'll use my half inch tape all around the outside. Only reason I'm doing that is just because I'm getting lower on my quarter inch tape and I have tons of the half inch. No other reason besides that. Um, so I'm just going to line it up on the whole side and then I'll release the rest of the paper going around and then I'm just going to trim it with my scissors to get it even. For some reason it printed a little high, uh, taller than eight and a quarter. I don't know why. Sometimes my printer will print something the perfect size and sometimes it will print too big. I'm not sure why it does that. But anyhow, um, just getting that re-punched out again. And then just kind of looking again to see what we have going on. So what I'm going to end up doing since the tag is a transparent plastic piece and you can read the adventure words, I'm going to cover it with white paper so that you can't see through it anymore. And I'm not going to cut it into the tag shape because I'm happy with the way it looks as the, you know, adventure travel adventure card as it is not into a tag shape. Um, the other thing that I did consider doing was I did cut out this Christmas Eve banner from the papers and I really wanted to use it. Um, I saw Allie use it several times in her layouts. It just did not go. There was no red in this layout um, and I'd already embellished the photo of us in front of the Christmas tree. If I hadn't done that I might have used it on that photo but um, it was too late and the red just didn't go well with the like corally color of the sun sunset there. So like I said, I really would have loved to have used it. It just was kind of too big for any of the pocket pages 
um, three by four size photo sizes and I just didn't have room for it. So next time. So um, there you can see I have gotten that tag back in white and I added some black May Arts ribbon. That'll be in my Amazon account if you want to check that out. I'm using one of the blue stickers from the advent calendar sticker sheet up there that says a December to remember. Uh, didn't necessarily love the sentiment but it was the right color. Um, trimmed it down a little and then put that over across the 24. I've been doing that a lot with this album and really liking it. Adding another little chipboard star. That is an older set from Studio Calico that is just a really pretty like blues and corals and golds set that I really enjoy. And then I'm just adding some stars around the corners there of the, that photo on the bottom left and the bottom right to help sprinkle that coral pink color around. So the last thing that I have to do is add some journaling to that Christmas Eve card, which I'm going to do by hand um, off camera because I needed to sit and think about what I wanted to write. And I'm going to add some of these gold puffy stars, which I'm kind of bummed because I need way more of the small and medium size. I have too many large ones left um, and I've been using them everywhere. And then that is also from the star mini kit as well, the chipboard stars there. So just sprinkling those around just to add some color and some fun. Uh, overall, this layout is pretty simple, but I'm really happy with it. And, uh, decided to add one little sticker on there. That sticker sheet is also from the advent calendar and then the white phrases that I'm using are from Ellie's studio. So I picked a sticker that said holiday travels. It was just slightly too tall. I was able to trim it perfectly with my scissors uh, to get it to fit in there and I'm going to add that to the photo on the left hand side there and happy with that one small embellishment. So I'll leave you with a live look of my thoughts in just a moment. Okay guys, I am all finished here. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. It's not perfect, but um, worked with what I had. Um, so just added this little sticker right here at the end. I thought that was kind of a nice way to add something to the first photo there. Uh, love how this came out. It's a nice repeat of the layout that I did previously in the album with like a circle here and a tag and you know. I like having repeated layouts where you don't have to reinvent the wheel and it shows consistency and I love adding page protectors like this that allow you to put in a lot of photos. So I'm happy I stuck with the blue colors, love this layering that I've been doing on a lot of them um, with the sticker over the number and then a star, added some stars here to bring that color around. And then on the back, we've got our more green and gold sort of page. Finally found a use for this three, three inch circle um, Marian Bright with the gold rim around it. Love how that came out. Um, and I don't know if you were able to see this before, but I love this photo here with our reflections. Um, thought that was cute and had fun playing with the circles there. And doing another little circle and star treatment over here. So. Um, this one was a big spread because I had to show like travel and it's Christmas Eve, um, Christmas Day. I probably won't even have that much because we didn't do Christmassy things on the cruise. Um, and then from there it'll be more travel-y. So we'll see how everything comes out and I can't wait to show you. So I will see you for day 25 shortly. And just a quick reminder also that if you're not already subscribed, if you do, you'll be automatically notified when I post new content. Thanks so much. Bye.